previously on Gerald. You know, I haven't done a, a rusty kit in a while, so I figured I'd go ahead and throw that on this. And yeah. Oh, hey, buddy. What's on up? today's episode of Woodworking with Gerald, we're going to turn these popsicle Gerald. sticks into a what? wooden barrel. What you mean? You heard me. Here we go. We're going to be using Elmer's glue. Elmer's glue. When you okay. use Elmer's glue, remember to twist the cap. <laughs> you forgot to... <laughs> you forgot to twist the cap open. Yeah. You're so stupid. <laughs> okay. Wow. Are you... Are you done? You yeah, I'm done. <laughs> That's crazy though. The wall of the uh, barrel would be three popsicle sticks thick. So I'm just gonna laminate, um, laminate, laminate them together or whatever. Look at you together. trying to use big words. He said laminate. We're gonna need eight bundles. So we're gonna do this eight times. Dang. That's a lot. Uh, get them together. Don't Elmer kind of look like Yoda? No. Elmer is a bull. Yoda is a a Yoda. Stupid. So, now that our bundles are all dry, um, we're gonna have to cut this little band off, these bands off. So, in hindsight, I realized that I put way too much work into this. I mean, I could've just got some wood and cut it down to size and did it like that, but, but I had all these popsicle sticks I mean, you can't just buy wait, one. Wait, wait, wait. Safety first. Always wear a mask. Okay. You're dealing with right. things that cause dust. All right, we get it. Stuff. So, yeah, protect yourself. Now, as I was saying, you can't just buy a pack of one. So, I got like a hundred of them. And I'm not <laughs> going to do dumb. anything with them. So, I might as well just go ahead and experiment. And, you know. I don't know. Whatever. I think it's um some scientists out there that wouldn't like the what? way you're throwing around that word experiment. What are you talking I mean, about? You're not a scientist, are you? No. Shut up. Well, my colleagues back at the Institute would call that stolen valor. You might want to watch yourself. Yeah, thanks for the warning, buddy. So now you're going to cut your wood into the shape of a triangle. Wait. Not all of it, just... Uh, are you in the Illuminati? A uh, few pieces. Oh, my goodness. You're in the Illuminati. I knew it. What are you talking about? So anyway... You get these pieces together like this. You want a, a square piece in the middle and then a triangle on both ends, on either end or either end or on, you know, opposite sides so that you can have like a a, a rough curve. It'll have a rough curvature to it. You know what I'm saying? And I just use the sawdust with the uh, Elmer's glue to fill in the gaps. You know, uh, I just like to take this time to apologize for all the stuff I said oh. to you about being a scientist and everything. I mean, I guess in your own right, you, you could be a scientist. I'm not a um, scientist. You know, so no no problems, you know, just... I mean, that's to nice to hear. Use whatever terms you like, you know, and okay. just um, please don't kill me. What? So, um, I was kind of curious. What's the membership fee to be in the Illuminati? Like... Is it like monetary or is it like you got to get blood or something? I don't know what you're talking about. And don't think I didn't just see you try to put glue on with the cap closed again. Oh, you saw I that. I don't say huh? nothing about it. You just did anymore. Okay, so now we're getting the two halves together. Um, and we're going to make like a, uh, like a tube, a wooden tube. Again, you didn't really need to use popsicle sticks. You could use any kind of wood, a uh, dowel or, or just a block of wood and whittle it down or carve it down or whatever. Um, I just use popsicle sticks because I have popsicle sticks. So this was a lot of work just to get it to this point and wherever it goes after this. But I mean, it's multiple ways you could do this and this is just the way that I did it and you know, whatever. Um, I kind of forgot what you're trying to make here. What was it again? A wooden barrel. 
you know, like uh, what whiskey come in or, you know, the kind of barrel that Donkey Kong was chunking at Mario when he was trying to save his girlfriend that one time. Oh, yeah. You know, funny thing is, she actually broke up with him after that. What? Say you swear. I, I swear. I swear. Because she was trying to mess with his brother. Luigi? Yeah, we just called him L, though. Dang, that's messed up. His own brother. You know, Luigi do got a lot of green, though. Yeah, that's true. But, uh... Oh, so anyway, I just cleaned up the, uh, the outside of it. Made it a little smoother and more rounder, even though it ain't perfect. I'm just doing it by eye. And then I'm cutting it in half because I don't need this whole, um, tube. And another thing, I never really realized... I never really realized how hard popsicle sticks were to cut. I mean, I was going to work at it, but man, this is some good wood. Wait, wait, wait. So you just happen to have a hacksaw on your truck? I mean, yeah. You never know when you need a hacksaw. I might have to cut my way out of, uh, yeah, some, you just uh, stop right there. Some wood or something, I don't know. And you are getting dangerously close to the kit. Never mind. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just edit that out. So here we are with the two halves. We're only going to use one. So um, I believe they call these blanks in the, uh, the wood um, turning business. Um, yeah, this is a, a blank, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, I'm smoothing out the end. I gave it a little curve. I don't want too much of a curve, but, you know, I want it to look like a barrel. And now you see what I mean when I said that you don't really need popsicle sticks because you can't even tell it's popsicle sticks at this point. It just looked like a big block of wood with a uh, hole in the middle. So now we're going to cut it down to size. Now that we got one end made, we kind of know what we need to do to the other end. The Dremel um, makes easy work of it. So, yeah, favorite tool I have, Dremel. No sponsor. Should be, though. Yeah. Oh, brother. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Anyway. So I hollow it out a little bit more using the, um, the Dremel and get it nice and clean. Um, right now, I'm just putting the finishing touches on it. The shape, you know, finalizing everything. Now, even though I'm going to cap this off, it's going to be hollow. So, at some point, something happened and the barrel opens. You know, it'll be hollow. Like a real barrel. It's not just a block of wood. A solid block of wood. It's a hollow block of wood. You know what would be really, really cool? I'm not putting whiskey in it, buddy. Just a little Jack Daniels. We're not doing that. Okay. So, right now, I'm just separating the boards. Okay. This is what give it that that authentic barrel look. Now you see what I did? It don't have to be perfect because it's just an old barrel anyway. And if you take your time, you can make it perfect if you want a perfect barrel. But, you know, I'm just going for this old barrel. And I'm going to go over the cuts with the black Sharpie so it'll pop. And then you'll sand those down just to clean it up a little bit. Now the end caps are just, you know, simple. They're just two popsicle sticks and, you know, glued together. And I'm going to outline the uh, outer edge of the barrel. And I'm going to trim just to the inside of that line that I marked. And I got to put a little marker right there so that I know exactly where it's going to fit. Because it's not a perfect circle. Huh? I'll say, what was that? Huh? Oh, nothing. So now we'll just get that cut out and uh, glued into place. Yeah, make sure you open the, uh, oh, okay, I see you got it. Never mind. So once you get that smeared in there, you just pop the piece in, and there you go. You got a capped off barrel, a hollow capped off barrel. So what about those bands? I mean, you gotta have something to hold the barrel together, right? For the bands, I just uh, wrap the masking tape around the barrel. Okay, masking tape around so the barrel. So uh, draw an outline, outline of where I want the bands it. to be since the bands won't be a straight um, oh. line, they won't be straight. 
it'll have a curvature to it. Oh, a curvature. So we'll go ahead and mark that up and then put the tape on styrene and cut it out and it should be the correct shape. Huh. So you do know what you're doing, huh? I mean, I've never done this before, but I mean, yeah, I guess you could say I know what I'm doing. You don't really know yeah, no, what you're doing. Do not you? at all. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't nah. think so. So now I'm just going to cut these straps out and they should work perfectly. We'll see. See, buddy? It did work out perfectly. I knew you could do it. Of course you did. I did. So now, I'm just super gluing them together to make these bands. This sure is a lot of work you're putting into it, though. Yep. I mean, it is. You did a lot of sanding and yep. shaping and uh -huh, hollowing out. And was it worth it? Not really. I mean, um, yeah, I wanted to make this barrel and I had it in my head that it was gonna be a simple thing, you know, but it turned out to be a lot more than simple. And I mean, with all the uh, sawdust I have all over the place and- Go ahead, man, let it out. I mean, it just, I don't know. That was a lot of sawdust, but it is gonna look awesome, you know, when I'm done. I'll be the judge of that. So now that I got the straps made up, I'm just going to glue them to the barrel using uh, super glue. I will be applying them with my glue looper um, where the uh, styrene meets the wood. Okay. I mean, I did put a lot of work into this. I went from uh, sticks to this tube and on uh, to the barrel, you know? So I think I did pretty good. Did I hear a crack in your voice? Huh? You don't sound too sure. Well. If you heard a crack in my voice, it was probably because I didn't want to do the voiceover again. Look at you, tearing down walls. Next thing you know, you'll be saying you do my voice. Uh, so now I'm gonna paint the straps. What did I say? And um, then we're gonna move on to the barrel. We're gonna stain the barrel with the sepia wash Vallejo. Give it that nice stained look. Okay, that looks pretty nice. Then I'm gonna dry brush the oily steel over the straps to give them a hint of a, uh, you know, metallic. Oh yeah, that metallic look. And then I'm gonna overdo it with a little orange rust. <laughs> you said overdo it. I mean, cause I did put a lot of paint on these straps, more than necessary. But anyway, here's the finished product. Hope you like it. Oh yeah, I like it. I wasn't talking to you. Well, excuse me.